come home from work, or worse, you've woken up in the middle of the night and you realize you have no heat. This video is just to show you what happened in our house that maybe you can double check and, and fix without having to call a plumber. This happened to me. First thing I did, I went on YouTube and I started looking at YouTube videos and the only thing I could find was a couple of videos talking about checking the thermostat. So that's why we're starting at the thermostat. I know it's going to sound silly, just make sure, right, that the heat is on, that nobody for some reason switched it off. It seems like it's working. In one video they even have you taking the cover off and kind of bypassing to make sure the thermostat is still working. Um, I did that. It wasn't the problem. There are videos out there that show you that. I'm thinking in all likelihood it wouldn't be the thermostat. Of course you want to make sure that you have power to the thermostat and here you can see the digital readout. It's, it's, it's working. We had a brand new system. This is a gas system with a boiler put in. So I knew the boiler wasn't old. So what do I do? Luckily, a friend of a friend was able to come over. He fixed the problem and I wanna show you what he did to fix the problem again that might help you. So now I gotta go into the basement. So I came down to the basement. Here's the hot water heater and here's our boiler. Okay, this is a uh, Burnham boiler and I knew from we had a problem before that I could take the face off of this and there's going to be a coat inside. So let me do that. All you have to do is just take, if you have the same boiler, this front lifts up and then I'm just going to take it out. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just shut the camera off for a second. The cover is off and I went ahead and I was trying to figure out what the code was here for this boiler and it turned out that the boiler was on standby so then I got to thinking well maybe the boiler is okay but then I didn't know what to do anyway uh, we were needing to call somebody and maybe have a plumber come in in the middle of the night we knew that was expensive so luckily we called one of our friends who had another friend Chris that was able to come over and uh, check it out with me. So we knew it was on standby. Next thing that he did over here on the side, there's a gauge for the water pressure and the water pressure was okay. But both of us realized that with this loop of, of hot water that would go from the boiler, okay, and into the loop. Now this goes up to the second floor this is a second loop that's for this floor that right now is not even connected and that's why the valve is shut, right? When the valves are parallel, they're open. But this pipe was very, very hot, but yet the return, right? It's a loop coming back, which is here in the back, that was cold. So one of the things that Chris decided to try was, well, maybe if we drain some water from the loop, because there's a plug of air in the loop that is blocking the hot water from flowing, maybe we could get it flowing again. And sure enough, that worked. So let me show you where that is. So here's the pipe coming back down here. Here is the, um, the faucet that he opened to let some of the hot water out. And this is hot water. Right, this was water that came from the boiler into the loop and back in, so it is hot. Um, what I literally did was take a pot, here, here is one, from the kitchen, and he put it underneath, let some of the water out, maybe about half a pot full or so, and he shut it back and closed it uh, back up, and then we could hear water, right, because there's an automatic fill, so if there's not enough water and not enough water pressure, then there's an automatic fill of water into the loop. And sure enough, that fixed our problem. So let me just show you this quick. So 
So the pipe comes down. Here's my outlet for water. And if I just open up the valve, here's hot water coming out. And I'm gonna close it up again. That's it, that's all I needed. And it refills on its own, and that fixed the problem. If you're going to try this, of course, let me put a disclaimer that I'm not responsible for anything that you try, either on your boiler or, uh, again, you're dealing with hot water here. So if you're not comfortable, certainly uh, you need to bring in a professional. But I do think it's worth coming down and taking a look at your heating system before you call somebody, even if you're not going to try anything. And this was a brand new boiler, so we never thought that we would have no heat in the middle of the winter. This is a Burnham boiler, brand new, I mean a year old. Um, I hope whatever system you have that uh, you can get it fixed and get, get it fixed of course uh, at low or no cost and good luck. Chris also pointed out to me that this here in this loop is called an air water separator. And so that if air does build up in, of course, the loop of water, that this is, I don't know what's, how it works inside, but this is supposed to, again, allow the, the air to get out of the line. So we would never have a buildup of air that would prevent the circulation of the hot water. Obviously, Either this needs to be replaced or it was just a temporary malfunction, I'm not sure. But um, at some point, we should get it looked at, I guess, or maybe replaced or taken care of. But it fixed the problem, and we have not had any um, heating issues in the house since.